An update to the Board of Trustees. Elizabeth Chu is live at the Rizzo Conference Center where the trustees are hearing about new initiatives the university has put in place to make sure the shortcomings of the past never happen again. Kristen, the Board of Trustees have been outside this building all day, and it's safe to say that Provost Jim Dean has probably had to answer quite a few questions because it's been exactly four weeks since the Weinstein report was released. And media organizations, well, they want to know who's being held accountable. On October 22nd, Chancellor Carol Folt stood on stage and answered questions about the Weinstein report. The first question came from this AP reporter. Uh, how many of the nine people are being fired? Who are they? On what grounds? And if you won't answer that, why not? Fultz answer. We have pretty strict rules about privacy. We don't talk about personnel issues and give anybody's name uh, ever in the press. And so I'm not going to talk about them individually. That answer has 10 media outlets around the state ready to sue the university under public records law. Mike Toddy is the lawyer drafting the suit. We do think that those records are also subject to the public records law. It's an exception to the, the confidentiality of personal record, personnel records. The Daily Tar Heel is also suing. We talked to Editor-in-Chief Jenny Serain. I am disappointed in the way that they've handled this because I have no idea if anybody's actually going to pay. I have no idea if the people that were implicated in their support are going to be able to keep their jobs. Toddy says depending on how the draft progresses, we may have the names of those nine people as early as Christmas. And remember, Chancellor Carol Folt said it was the actions of a few and the inactions of a great number of people that led to these issues. Kristen. Elizabeth, too, live at the Rizzo Conference Center. Thanks, Elizabeth.